In the current presentation, I would like to briefly overview those characteristics that make a research thesis a successful research thesis. Let us first uh, begin with the definition of a research thesis. A research thesis is actually a structured written report that is an outcome of a research project uh, that is conducted by students as part of the requirements for their uh, graduate or postgraduate research degrees. Generally, this is written in line with prescribed structure and format, and that is in line with the requirements of institutions or universities. This written document is then evaluated by academics who um, evaluate it keeping in view its relevance, authenticity and quality. And then this becomes one of the main bases for the degree award of particular research programs. Now to the characteristics. The research thesis generally has different parts and these include the introductory part. The first part is generally the introductory part. How should the introductory part be or what are the characteristics of the introductory part of a good research thesis? The Introductory part has subparts that include the title. The title should of a good research thesis should be reflective of the topic or issue being explored and it should be succinct, which actually means that it should clearly represent the research topic that has been explored in the thesis. Then the preliminary pages. The preliminary pages of a good research thesis should follow relevant format and these pages should be free of language and typographical mistakes. The preliminary pages, the accuracy of the content of the pre preliminary pages is important because this gave a first insight to the reader or to the evaluator and it indicates uh, the, the quality of the remaining main parts of thesis. Then the abstract, the abstract should generally be a microcosm of the whole thesis and a good quality abstract will respond to questions such as the what, why, how and so what of the thesis in minimum, minimum possible words. Further, the introduction part and the objectives um, should be well written and they should be clear and precise. And they should reflect the scope of the study. So the introduction part, the objectives, should be presented in clear and precise language and they should be reflective of the objectives of the study. The good thesis, the introductory part of the good thesis also have research questions and hypotheses. And so these research questions and hypotheses should be presented in clear and concise language. And the language should be in in a, should be in academic style. The rationale and significance, which again is an important uh, aspect of the introductory part of the thesis, should be well articulated and it should establish the need for conducting the study. And then this section or the introductory section should towards the end of the introductory, uh, introductory section, there should be an introduction to the remaining sections or chapters of the thesis. Then the second part of the thesis, 
uh, what should what are the characteristics of the second part of the thesis that makes the thesis a good research thesis the second part or generally the background literature review part the literature review should be relevant to the topic and it should be focused but at the same time it should be comprehensive which actually means that it should cover all aspects of the topic under consideration then it should not just be comprehensive but it should also be critical which actually means that you are not just presenting various aspects of the topic but you are also critically evaluating and analyzing and so your voice as a researcher is clearly coming out then the next thing that that is important to make this part um, an effective part is that the literature review should be current and up to date of course there will be certain fundamental studies or literature that you need to include that might look dated but then there should be reference to the current sources the more current sources the updated knowledge in the relevant field and this then will ultimately lead to gap identification and analysis of that gap in order to provide strong basis for further research so as you see a good research thesis should have a strong literature review that is critical that is comprehensive that is relevant and that should lead to the identification of gap and the establishment for of the need for further research um as uh, in the previous chapter or section in this section again it is important that simple clear and correct academic language is used now the third section generally of a research thesis is the research methodology section and this section is one of the most important sections of the thesis and to have a good research thesis is actually dependent on prov providing good quality dis description of the research methodology so generally there should be an introduction and justification of the method methodological choices the research paradigm and the research philosophy should be clearly laid out which actually means like in social sciences there are different research paradigms such as the positivist paradigm the interpretivist paradigm or the pragmatic uh, paradigm and so the research design the research methodology section should clearly lay that out the research design should be clearly and comprehensively presented um, there should be uh, description of the sample choice and justification the data collection and analysis methods and processes should be clearly presented and justified the validity and reliability issues should be clearly established and presented and there should be a section on ethical considerations and where the ethical issues that might arise as a result of the conduct of the research must be clearly responded to once more to reiterate the central point is that all of these subsections of the methodology section should be concise they should generally be jargon free and they should accurately be presented in clear academic language moving on to the fourth section that what what we that is actually that will play a role in uh, in making the thesis good research thesis is the finding or result section <clears throat> this is actually the outcome of our research and so the presentation and organization of the findings or results should be in the light of research objectives or questions and hypotheses 
So clearly the research objectives, the research questions and hypotheses gave a logical conceptual framework or foundation to the thesis and the findings of the thesis should be presented logically in the light of our research objectives and research questions or hypotheses. This makes the presentation of objectives clearer and in line with the logical organization of the, of the thesis. Then adequate interpretation of the data is an important aspect of making the finding section a uh, useful section. Um, and so these data might be in the form of tables or charts or uh, in qualitative studies, textual based studies in the form of quotes. And these should be in precise academic language. This section should have summaries of findings section wise, which again means that uh, those sections could be developed in the light of our main findings, uh, which are organized in the light of research objectives. And this should provide an overall summary of findings and results towards the end of this section. The next important section that the, the, the clear and useful presentation of which makes a research thesis a good research thesis is the discussion, conclusion and implication section. Here that we are, we will discuss our findings um, in the critically, which actually means that the, dis the, the findings are analyzed and evaluated, and there is a discussion of, the, of those main findings in the light of generally in the light of previous studies or in the light of evidence from other studies. On the basis of this, uh, of our discussion of findings, we get to the conclusions. And so our conclusions should be based on our findings rather than general. In many cases, uh, research students come up with conclusions that do not essentially come out of their findings, but are actually general. Uh, and that is something that many examiners uh, point out. Then it's not just that you conclude, but also what are the implications of your conclusions from those findings, from the conclusions. So what are the implications of the conclusions or findings of your study in terms of theory, which actually means in what ways has have you your findings or conclusions added to the theory of the relevant field and in what ways the practice, what implications do your findings and conclusions have for the practice in the respected area of research? Uh, and then this section should also have, should also include possible limitations or possible weaknesses in the design or the conduct of the study or in the way the results um, have been uh, found and in the way those results have been interpreted. So there should be a limitation section as well in a good discussion section of a good research thesis. And this section lastly should have suggestions for further studies. Now we move on to the last section of the presentation and that is the generally the last section of the research thesis is the references or appendices section. Now, what is this section actually references? Generally, the, the, the material that we have referred to or cited in our thesis, we need to refer to that to give full references of those towards the end of the thesis. And so references should be accurate. They should be according to a certain format, generally in line with the, the with the requirements of your university. So 
there are certain formats that are internationally recognized, including the APA format or Chicago or MLA. Whatever format your university uh, suggests you to use, you need to actually uh, follow that. The appendices should be accurate. And so generally, uh, most theses have appendices. And so those appendices uh, are uh, examples of those appendices include informed consent, data collection tools, samples of data analysis, um, diagrams, certain maps or charts. So all of these could be appendices. These appendices should be present, should be attached accurately. They should be in proper ordering and numbering uh, in line with the importance of uh, each appendix. So this is the, these are some of the things that you need to have in your mind in order to produce a good research thesis. So as you can see, a good research thesis is a well-organized document that is organized in the light of the research objectives and that clearly presents the various aspects and sections and processes of the whole research process, including the, uh, the initial stages of the research processes, the introduction of the various concepts, and then the objectives and significance of the research study, the methodological considerations, the literature review and background, and the findings and conclusion sections, and also the references and appendices. So a, a good research thesis will have an overall uh, very well uh, structured presentation and organization, and it will have an overall argument that generally begins with the research questions and objectives and ends in our finding uh, an answer and presenting answers to our research questions uh, or to our research objectives um, in a logical and systematic and scientific way. And the language used is simple, precise, scientific language that is generally free of language and grammatical uh, errors. Thank you very much for